This Cooper CL6 control panel adds smart capabilities to the standard regulator. Let's take a look at the bottom of the panel, where all the basic controls are located for operating the regulator. When the control function switches on auto, the tap changer motor can be operated automatically or remotely using SCADA. When it's on manual, the motor can be operated using the raise and lower switch. If the supervisory switch is on, SCADA has full control of the device. If it's off, it can be operated on location, though SCADA can still monitor it. Since I want full control of the device, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. If you need to place a regulator in service or bypass it, there are several key things that you need to do. First, you need to make sure that it's in neutral. To do this, make sure that the control function switch is on manual. Then, since our regulator is on 3 boost, I'm going to go ahead and lower it. Once it's on neutral, you want to make sure and turn the control function switch off. This will prevent the automatic operation of the device. Now there's four things that we want to check to make sure that our regulator is in neutral. First, make sure that the neutral light is on. Second, make sure that the tap position is on zero. Third, make sure that the indicator in the dial is also on zero. And fourth, using a neutral detector, make sure that there's no difference in potential between the source and load bushings. The control panel also has several indicators that you should be aware of. These lights show when information is being sent or received. These four lights are all programmable alarms that your company can customize. These two lights indicate when the regulator has gone outside the voltage range setting. These come on if the voltage is above or below the output voltage settings. Auto tap blocked means that something is keeping it from changing tap positions. This indicates the flow of power is reversed. The voltage reduction light illuminates when power demands are greater than available power and there are high peak loads. If any of these indicator lights on the right are on, call your engineering department for troubleshooting. And lastly, this flashcard port allows you to use a card to pull off information.